biggest new characters to come into this world are Pilgrim and Cressida. Finally, our destiny is at hand. In a world that's been destabilized by war, this is almost like religious fanatics coming in. Tell them a reckoning has come. Pilgrim is a zealot. His thing is there is only one goal, only one truth, and it's Azra. We need to make an example of these unbelievers before their treachery spreads like a cancer. So it's actually scarier what he represents, and I think that makes him a much more mysterious figure, but also a much more powerful nemesis. All I have is blind faith to protect me. He has some kind of power or skill. It makes him in a much higher position because he knows what he wants to do with it. Please, I, I believe. And he's using people to achieve his goal. The key relationship around Pilgrim is Cressida. It's an incredible relationship. She's his advisor, she's a sorceress. This is where you will build our new kingdom. I'm his main strategic seer who nursed you through seizures, nightmares till your full power blossomed. She's like a weird auntie who you're kind of scared of, but you really respect and have to listen to whatever she says goes. Did I doubt you? Question your purpose? No, because my faith is true. Nyx is a warrior, a very skilled fighter. When we first meet her, she's just very much part of this kind of cult mentality. Nick's relationship with Pilgrim is very much a father-daughter relationship. There's so much love, but there's also control because he literally can control her. Nick and Castor, we're just like a package deal. We are a unit. We live together, eat together, sleep together, fight together. We are one. He has a very big soft spot for Castor. Look at me, child. He has a fatherly relationship with Castor and feels deeply protective of him. I asked you to leave behind your homes for the promise of a kingdom we've never seen. This caravan is a huge family. These are the people that nobody has wanted, that have been cast aside, that have been left and forgotten. They've gathered them all up and said, come, let us be a family. 